Hey, I'm supposed to meet Devin Weston here. Mr. Weston's hangar is up there on the left. She is. <laughs> you know, if this beauty was a woman, I'd have to break my 20 and under rule. Man, I'll just stick to driving, all right? <laughs> hey, tell me something. You know how many of these things they made? Uh, shit, like 10? No, not like 10, man. Exactly 10. Oh, wow, man. You one of them type of dudes, huh? Tell you something. How'd you like to drive a car like this one day, man? For real. Like this? Or this. Oh, man, right back at me, homie. Really nice. Hey, you know something? You're not like those uh, snowbird retiree pals of yours. You are sharp, man. Man, I'm just looking for a paycheck for my services. No, no, no don't worry. It'll come. That'll come. But right now, it is life lesson time, pal. You have got to wake up to what's real in this situation, bro. Take me, right? I am opportunity. I'm security. I'm fast cars, blow jobs. I got the world on a plate. Those two clowns, oh man, they are the worst kind of disaster that can ever come down. They are a full core meltdown, and you're just standing there soaking up major radiation. You have got to take stock, man. Make that call before it's too late. Yeah, all right, man. I will. Before it's too late, man. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just take any car and go! Hey, Bev! Oh, man, you fucking ruined the shot! You ruined the fucking shot! What the fuck you talking about? You ruined the fucking shot! It's a fucking reality show, and you ruined it, homie. Homie's got you them photos. Poppy Mitchell, the English princess, the others. Oh, right, man, you know? <laughs> Don't even remember, right? The whole thing is like... But what about my money? We're shooting a show here trying to work. Hello? I'll just, you know, have somebody call my agent or something. Man, fuck you. Whatever. Uh, back to one. Please, we're shooting something. Uh, oh, okay, okay, okay. Now, now where were we? Uh, guys, do we have enough shots of me jumping around the corner? Uh, I think we're good. We'll cut Poppy's reaction in when we get back to the studio. Awesome. I can't believe the effort I used to go to for celebrity shots. If I'd known I could just get my agent to call their agent and stage it all, my life would have been... One way or another, motherfucker, I'm getting paid. Hey, get up! Dumb luck right there. Woo! 
too close. Okay, you know Redwood cigarettes? Sure, the cigarette that built America. They've rigged a jury to throw a class action lawsuit that would cover the treatment costs of thousands of emphysema sufferers. Now, there are four corrupt jurors on Redwood's books. I'll send you the details. Oh, and we only have a few hours to make them disappear. The court case is tomorrow morning. Is that all, dog? Shit, that's quite a favor. And that's quite a house you're living in. Get this done quickly, and I'll try to throw in a sweetener as well. Now, I'd advise picking up some long-range hardware to get this job done. You'll be helping a lot of people with this, Franklin, including anyone who might have a sizable investment in, say, uh, debonair cigarettes. Two days.
I ain't got much time left. Put the gun down! Okay, that ought to do it. It's done, homie. All of them. Very good. I'll be in touch. Jackson Skinner, he's head of product development at Facade. Man, we must read different magazines. And the bastard made a fortune selling customer data to the highest bidder from Moscow to Tehran. He's handing it to the cyber terrorists on a fucking silver platter. Okay, dog, chill, shit, chill. I got you, man. What's the play? I'm reliably informed that he has a weakness for working girls. There's a regular he likes to pick up in La Puerta. You stake her out, and she should lead you to Skinner. I'll send you the location. Meanwhile, maybe I'll take another look at the fruit share price. <laughs> All right, homie, I'll be in touch.
damn, that must be my girl. Hi there, beautiful. You wanna party with me? Not today, honey. I'm waiting for someone. No browsing. It's bye now or bye bye, honey. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. You know, I don't even feel bad about it. Hey, man, I'll wipe that software for you. Excellent news. I'll speak to you soon. So who the fuck don't you like today? Guys called Isaac Penny, ruthless vulture capitalist, about to take a controlling interest in Vapid Motor Company and sell thousands of workers down the river. Penny's uh, one of those tight-fisted billionaires, rides the same bus to and from work every day. I was thinking you could take over the route and... Drop the ass off where he needs to go. I've got it. Good. Oh, one thing. If I was you, I wouldn't buy any Vapid stock until the acquisition falls through. Hey, sorry I'm late. It's my first day on the job.
I hope the traffic isn't too bad. Yesterday it took me three hours to go half a mile. Damn, would it kill you people to crack a smile? What happened to the old bus driver? I really like that guy. Who farted? Come on, that's disgusting. I shit all over my shirt. Oh man, there's an up and atom burger box under my seat filled with vomit. Get in, we're running late. Jesus, have you been drinking? This driver is a fucking lunatic! Did anyone see fame or shame last night? Well, you're late, late, late. How to be 150. Mr. Penny, ain't he? Fair height. Forget about it. Spend thrifts. Hey! <laughs> Blame it on the city! Attention passengers! Please hold on to your fucking seats! Stop the bus, you maniac! Hey, I thought you needed a ride, homie! This business shit, you know how it is. Good to go. this it's a thing you said you wanted work this is work uh-huh and who's the guy you'll see yes hi <laughs> oh hello we're looking for mr madrazzo Patrice, give her fuck's sake. Just let him in. right this way gentlemen <laughs> patricia get us something to drink with you Quickly! Hey, good to see you again, Michael. <laughs> Likewise. Uh, it's my friend Trevor. Uh, sit down. Sit, sit, sit. So what did you tell him about me, about Martin Madrazo? Martin's an old friend of mine, Trevor. Is that true? Martin is a terrifying psychopath who tried to kill me. Exactly. Uh, but some people. <laughs> They no longer fear me as much as they used to, people who wear clothes to me. 
my cousin, uh, you married my co. <laughs> well, apparently, he's thinking about testifying against me. So I have him killed. I'm going to. Yeah. By you. Our debt was settled. This is a favor. For a friend. What does friendship mean nothing these days? Ah, uh, hello? What's the deal? This is him. Javier. He's flying off to Liberty City this afternoon. <whistles> and he's taking some files of mine. Innocent files that um, I need back. There's a gun set up in the hills. I have a man watching at the airport. We'll let you know, and when he flies by, shoot him down and get the files back. A man, what's a pay? <laughs> huh? Trevor, come on. You still want a drink? Not now! Pendeja! Que no ves que estoy hablando con las gentes aquí? All right. You grab a vehicle, something versatile. I'll handle the gun. All right. Hey, let's stay in touch on the headsets. Yeah, okay, well, I ain't at the observatory yet. Start heading that way. By the way, I know why you took me there, to that guy's house. Understood. Understood what? That he's a terrifying psycho and that you might have that in common? What is it? We gotta work for him. We don't gotta work for anyone, but I read you, man, loud and clear. What are you talking about? All that Aztec stuff. Those weird little artifacts. What? We weren't casing the joint. We didn't agree to a fee for this job, so what's it all about? Okay, the guy lives well. That don't mean we're robbing him, but it does mean he's got money to pay people who help him. When the time comes, he'll do the right thing. If he don't, please, let me handle it. You don't get a wife like that without being rich and an asshole, right? The fuck? All right, I see the van with the gun in it. You nearby? Not far out. Shoot the plane down, and I'll be ready. I got her. Southwest of the city. The jet's moving. Gotta give a lead. Stay in with 
with the play. There's a small jump coming up. Seriously, bro, coming all the way out here, we gotta get paid. Just do the job. I'll get us paid down the road. You gotta help us. Madrezzo and explain the human cost of this errand. Oh, take it easy, man. Listen to me. We'll talk about that later. I want you to just drop off the files. I gotta get rid of this rifle, then we'll talk.
What? Dad. There's been a change of plans. You don't need to come to the ranch. Meet me at Stoner Cement Works, a little up Sonora Road Shit. from there. What are you doing, Trevor? Nothing you wouldn't do. This Trevor. isn't happening. Ah. I wouldn't do. Shit. Somehow I don't believe. happened why do you have his car Man, a piece of turd huh no wonder people are stabbing him in the back what happened cheap bastard you know i really don't know why you mess around with people like that mike i mean really i Trevor, don't answer a fucking question i asked for a fair day's pay after a fair day's work then he kind of got a little angry so i admit i kind of got a little angry did you kill him what kind of fucking animal do you take me for? No, I didn't kill him. Oh, fuck. But I did kidnap his wife. Oh, no. Oh, shit. What the fuck did you do? Oh, oh I just told you what I just did. Now, oh, shit. Uh, unfortunately, I think that we're going to have to lay low for a little while while, you know, we discuss things with Martin. Oh, you think? Why don't you hop in the back? All right, now, Patricia, she already called shotgun. <laughs> now, I know a nice oh, little shit. place we can hang out, you know? It's a, a very relaxing oh. little spot. A little getaway, if you will. A cabin in the woods. You know what I'm saying. Hey, Molly. I'm outside the studio. All right. Go over the wall and find the car on the lot. And then what? Only the principal actors and stunt people are authorized to go near it. So you could get in wardrobe and play the part or try something else. All right. When you're out of there and clear of studio security, call me. I have to tell you, I'm allergic. Do you understand? Do you understand? Now listen to me. Just get the fuck out of here. I'm sick of looking at your face, Tina.
You need to get on set. Where the hell is Brandon? Jesus, are you gonna find him? Someone's gotta find him! Where is my movie star? Where is my movie star? I thought I had final approval on all stunt performers. Anyone know who this guy is? Is this the new stunt guy? Excuse me! Away from the car! Hey, get out of the car! Step out of the car! What's Brandon doing? What is going on? What are you doing? Is this a kidnapping? Pull over, creepo! Get off the wheel! I need to get the fuck out of here! They're coming! Studio security are all over you! Oh, fuck! We're gonna lose these guys! Help! Is this an abduction? Nah, you cool? No, I'm not cool. Not at all. I mean, chill out. I'm just interested in the whip. What do you mean, the whip? I could buy this car with what I make in a morning. I think you underestimating the value of this automobile. Or overestimating your own talent. Uh, I think you're underestimating what I get paid. You get paid a couple million for a morning's work? Shit, I should sack my agent. Yeah, shit. Stockholm Syndrome won't work on me, fuckball! Look, I respect you as an artist and a human being, but I got other priorities. Somebody save me! I've been abducted by a crazed fan! Girl, please! I like some of your work, but don't get ahead of yourself! What's wrong with you? Didn't your parents love you when you were a child? My dad disappeared. My mom was a crackhead. But that ain't what this about. My parents loved me so much they put me in a little lacy surprise campaign when I was three. Call the LSPD, the FIB, the IAA. If you have the car, bring it to Hayes Auto in South LS. Mr. Weston is marathon training, but he can change his route and meet you there. Yeah, okay. Because I got the car and it was messy. That's fine with us, but your associate, Michael DeSanta, has done some work at the studio and he might not be so happy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. What kind of shape is the car in? Well, whatever. We plan on refitting the guns to take live ammunition. Do the traffic spike and ejector seat need replacing too? Everything's still here, just like I found it. Good. One more thing. Mr. Weston's security detail are concerned about a suspicious figure near the garage. Let us know if you see something. Hey, girl! You're developing quite the rep there, Slick. Insurance companies hate these kinds of claims. They don't like cats with the inside edge shorten them either. So how'd it go? Smooth enough, you know, movie people. You know what the irony is? I'm a major shareholder in that same studio, so we just did is practically legal. Ha! Practically. Ooh, shit! Look at this motherfucker. You doing it big, my nigga, on the set. Lamar, what the fuck are you doing here? Oh, chirped your boy Trevor. It's fucked up when you gotta get your GPS location on your homeboys through a motherfucking speed freak. True that. Devin Weston, master of the two-hour female orgasm. What it is, Holmes? Lamar Davies. He was just leaving. Hey, not on my account. You looking for gainful employment, homie? Hell yeah, I'm always trying to get some motherfucking paper. Just the type of guy I like to work with. Predictable. Hey, we could bring your boy here in on the last part of the shipment. Oh, yeah, nigga, that's exactly what you could do. That's exactly Hell what you yeah. could do right man, there, yeah, man. Exactly. If you want him in, then you get him to boost the rest of the shit you got. Oh. Give me my money and I can go on oh, with my motherfucking oh. life. Oh, no, am I sensing tension here, Slick? <gasps> He's the spirit, but you're the brains. Am I wrong? I can see it. Look, I need you on point when we move this stuff out of town. Yeah, whatever, man. Call me when it's done. And after this, make sure we got our motherfucking check, all right? Ciao, baby. It is what it is. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, come here. I'm gonna put you in touch with my legal counsel. Hey, hey, don't touch me, homie. I don't get out like that. Yeah, let me tell you how the world works, Slim. Where you
you at, man? Your house is empty. Oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Desert, out by Alamo Sea. All right, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Uh, oh, hey, Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner, good guy, very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. <laughs> uh, listen, beautiful. You know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? <sighs> I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes. Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to uh, requisition it. Fantastic. Let's go. I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. Now watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... All right, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We gotta meet him in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, look, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merriweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards. Merchandise! I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast from Hove Beach to Vespucci! I want country clubs, and a depressed wife with blonde hair, and a hot little secretary who bounces on my boy! Just the plain I need to take on a heavily armed, tax-funded militia! Call our guys south of the border. Tell them there's a fire sale. I'll get you on the CB. I know it isn't my plan. 
price to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment so you cut up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald! Let's just get there first! Brian, the high's gonna draw attention! I'm plenty low enough, Ron! You're too high! Drop down before they figure it ain't an aberration! Altitude corrected! We're flying by the military base now! Avoid it, boss! Don't fly over! Yeah, alrighty! I'm acutely aware of. Enough! here, bullying, reckless, totally selfish, do the things that make me me. Like kidnapping the wife of a powerful Mexican gangster and flying a crop duster toward a jumbo jet loaded with mercenaries. Exactly! Everyone's so hung up on appearances in LS, you start to forget who you are. And if you ain't who you are, who the fuck are you? You're the most honest, principled man I know, Trevor. A man of integrity. Brother, I'm fine. Crop Duster, just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather. Final warning! 
Warning! Divert or you will be grounded! I'm gonna take my chances, pal. We are clear to engage! You're actually firing rockets? of a change of destination. We are now landing in Mackenzie Field. Changing frequency, over. Ron, Ron, you there? I got the jet. You with the buyers? Welcoming parties here, Trevor. Fly safe now. Okay! 